Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Mr. Malv Gaming, and welcome back to the Broke Rock Get Off My Lawn server because this is Fans of Broke Rock, episode 7. And at the end of the last episode we had a chat about the entrance to our pyramid being off centre as you can see behind me after speaking with the two commenters we have decided to extend out the path uh, so what I've basically done is I've extended it a couple of blocks further out I've rebuilt the tower, you can see there's not any vines on it yet and it is now perfectly in line with the centre of our pyramid. I have removed the lava path here because I have got a very cool idea of what I would like to put in there. And in the far corner we've got the first of our awesome pillars built for the, for the third floor of the pyramid. And that, basically that will be connecting all four of these all the way around. And we'll have this as an upper floor that will be accessible from here. So apart from that we haven't done very very much but we're going to do some stuff today because I am actually just back from the end. The end was reset, Sent Retentionate has jumped in and done an end trim and I've actually lost the work on me. <laughs> I did some... I, went, I did some end raiding, I hadn't meant to go end raiding, I was actually on my way to find some end stone because I think end stone would go nice with this as potentially as a variant block uh, because I want to get the vault on the inside a little bit better looking but and this is just a consolation, we've got a new elytra a couple more shovels, some diamonds, some gold, some iron and these shulker boxes here, I'm actually not going to keep these, these are going to be going back into the community and they'll be given to the shelter shop to get it reset. So they're not ours, we have, to be fair, we have more than enough shelter boxes. But that is where we're at. The other downside is with moving this wall, I've had to cut into our super smelter, so we'll probably rip that down, rebuild it across here and build a better design because we don't want to move it too far with the fact there are lava generators here and obviously our nether wall. So first thing actually I want to do today before we look at our wall is I need to really, really jump, quickly jump up to the gold farm and repair my elytra because it is very very heavily broken. So we'll probably just do a wee speed up thing of me jumping up there and and yeah and running that farm until it's mended. So I'll bring you back when I'm standing right here. So welcome back, as you have seen in that very very quick time lapse we have now got our gear all fully mended. Something I did notice is that we are no longer getting golems to spawn. Hmm, and all I've basically done is extend out this area and cut back some of the trees on both sides. So there's no reason for golems not to spawn. Unless they've linked to my bed. Let's go jump in and have, have a wee check of the villagers. Is there any... we have an extra villager that doesn't have a bed. But that shouldn't affect that. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to kill this villager. And we're going to do it during the night. And 21 villagers, one without a bed, would cause the farm to not work. So you can just go away. Here's a... Now to stop the trading I need to run out, run really really quickly, break the bread over there. Hopefully he dies. So that we know which one he is. And I think the bed's in here. Hopefully not we have these creepers. They can't come in there. Break this bed. I'm not gonna get out here now, am I? <laughs> Go! Oh, let's go. 
Okay, so that's the bed broken, so that means now, even though these villagers are very, very heavily being set, uh, fed up and stuff, I can hear already, instantly, the golems start spawning again. Two golems dying, and our iron supplies have been... Are you going to show me? Come on, show the people. There we go, and we're getting iron again. Nice. So I placed the bed and it broke the farm. I removed the bed and the farm worked again. That's typical. So it shows that the spawn proofing we have done has made a lot of effort. It has really worked. I was worried that I'd maybe broken something else. So that's pretty good. So let's head back to our wall and have a look and see what we are going to get up to. I love this. I love it having this extra space. It looks amazing. So from our wall we can now remove this one here which says pyramid door because we have fixed that. We have to put some kind of doorway in there so the mobs are coming in. So yeah, we checked that off the list and as you see I did change one of these um, during the recording. I can't remember which one it is but we'll deal with that at a later date. So let's deal with getting our sides on this pyramid so that we can get it lit up so that we can see what we're up to. So we're going to need lots and lots of sea lanterns. So hopefully, if I jump in here, we should have a lighting box somewhere. Um, do, 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 word, slime, dye, nether, wool, backup gear, glass, lighting box. And this lighting box has got all of the sea lanterns we're ever going to need. Some end rods and some pumpkins and some other stuff as well. So what we'll do is we'll grab ourselves these, we're going to jump up and down the pyramid and get ourselves all of these sides put in. We'll do the glass shortly, but I just want to see what happens once we light up the sides. If we're going to have to do some kind of designs on the sides here, I'll just see how it looks. So we'll just do it together once we sleep. Because there's nobody else on the server to sleep, so we'll just do it, we'll do it ourselves. There we go. Just in case, you never know. I have actually got a really, really cool design for the front, the top of these pillars here. Uh, I think something big and fancy on top of them would look pretty good. So I have got a design for that as well and we'll deal with, deal with that at a later date. So we're back, I fixed that entire side, um, it turned out that there were some issues with the actual blocks anyway, so it's not a major thing. So I don't want to do too much because I don't want you to have to sit and watch me repeat the same process over and over again, I just want to show you that this side is done. Once we're at night time, which we should do very very soon, looking at the way that where the sun is in the sky, we'll be able to see what kind of effect that has. I do like the landscaping I've been doing, uh, I like the fact that we've got this kind of biome blending, I think that's what it's called, um, and I like the fact that we're now obviously transitioning from what is basically a man-made desert biome into you know the plains where we have our starter house and all that kind of stuff. I was talking at the start about our passive mob farm, I have got the perfect place for that, I have checked the junks and I think I should be pretty much, let's have a look at this, Wow, once we get the red on that, that is awesome. Look at what up that is, I won't need to worry about too much about interior designs and stuff. But the passive mob farm will be going into this back section here, which is basically, um, we're going to drop these charcoal lanterns down and stuff, will house the passive mob farm in here. We'll have sugarcane farming here, we'll have a dripstone farming here, and we'll also have, there's another one, I've forgotten what it is. That's it I think actually, we'll, have, we'll go dripstone along here, we'll go sugarcane along this wall, and we'll have the passive mobs along here, we'll probably have some kind of micro farm to feed them. And looking at the gap on it, I don't think we're going to have any issues, we might just actually put the passive mob farm there, because the design wise, it's about 6 or 7 blocks high, so we're looking at here. 
and yeah, chunk lines are basically right in the centre, so we should be fine, I would think. I don't actually have much more to do in this episode. Um, look at how awesome that looks. Still got the carpets to do, um, but I like that. I think that'll be perfect to have the upper floor off the top of it. And if we have a quick fly up, which we can now do, it looks pretty decent. I'm very, very happy with the way that this base is going. It is taking longer than I had initially planned out, but you know, the size of the base and everything else it is, you know, to be expected. And yeah, golems are now spawning again. Yeah, we're in a good place. I would like to put a mob farm, but if I was to go mob farm, I'd need to probably go somewhere like, you know, further out. We are running a 12 simulation, uh, 12 chunk simulation distance, so probably around to be here somewhere. Oh, there's a llama. We'll just kill you because, you know, we don't have rogue llamas walking about all over the place. I never said I, I was going to kill you, so I can have a llama. And we'll probably have the mob farm over here somewhere, it seems to be the ideal place for it. I want to keep away from that baby. Yeah, turn your back for two seconds. But yeah, that is my plan for the next episode. Uh, we'll get past the mob farm, I'll need to leave at temporarily because I don't have a... Uh, need to work out the differences with the, the change in simulation distance. But yeah, we'll get back up here and we'll... The other thing I'm going to actually start doing, and it will start from the next episode, is I'm going to put a lectern with a book on the inside of the pyramid, and I've got creepers in the road, and I'm going to put a lectern on the inside of the pyramid, I'm going to put it inside the vault next to our broke rocket heads. We haven't actually found any wandering traders over the last couple of days, so we don't actually have any new ones, but this book I would like to put my Basically anybody that comments on my videos, I'm going to put them in the book and they will be here forever more. So that will that'll go in and around the here. So if you comment, any comment at all, we'll pick our favourite comment of the week and we will, well, okay, we'll just put all comments, one per person, into the book and that will help document our series. I will go back to the previous six um, episodes and we will decide, well we will move all those in too. So I know this episode might be, oh, didn't mean to do that. This episode might be slightly shorter than what we usually do, but there is lots to do and little time to do it. So I'll see you in the next one. And as always, if you are interested in anything Broke Rock, jump to the Broke Rock website and follow all of the absolutely awesome Broke Rockers. Their links are all in the description of this video. Please like, share, Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.